Okay, so I have, um, I'm going to make a vinaigrette for my salad, my beautiful salad. I'll show you my salad again. It's really nice. Okay, so it's got, yeah, I'll take that off for a minute. See how pretty that is? Nice, bright, colorful. It's got carrots, shredded carrots. Um, it's got cucumbers. It's got micro. It's basically um, uh, romaine lettuce, chiffonade romaine lettuce, and I wanted to make something that kind of complements the food, so I'm going to have like these um, fajitas that I made. They're kind of dark. They got dark because of the seasonings that I use, but it's going to be bright after I finish with them. And then I have, like these are going to be the crostinis. And that's, um, I don't know what they call it, but it's like a cream cheese and it's got herb in it and I mix it up. It's usually mozzarella. I didn't have any, so I went ahead and got some Jack and mixed it up. And then I have some pesto that I made and I put it in the freezer and I have, and I'm going to get my tomatoes out and you heat up. And then these are already done. I went ahead and um, sliced them and put a little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil. And granulated garlic because I was just too tired to cut a garlic and whatever. So I have, well, it's okay to take shortcuts. I don't feel bad because you do. So I have my vinaigrette and it's extra virgin olive oil. Where'd it go? Okay. Put some extra virgin olive oil in there. It's supposed to be half and half extra virgin olive oil and in some kind of acidity which is which uh vinegar so i have I, I already put in um some lime in there and mix that up add a little bit of pepper okay and i'm going to put some of this umami um people are asking what an umami is basically a umami is um uh, the silent flavor and that comes through tomatoes fish meats mushrooms um, there's a whole university in Japan I believe that you can study about umami and you or you could look it up and you'll find it um, it's really easy to find google it and you can learn about it so I have that and some salt. I'll put some salt in there. And we don't want to put no water. You don't want to put any water. You want to put is a liquid vinegar or citrus. And then I'm going to give that a taste. Don't need some salt. I'm going to put a little bit more salt. It's got too much vinegar in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour it in with my avocado and cilantro in there. I'm going to go ahead and pour that in there. Okay. You mix it up. Why? I, I'm so outdated, aren't I? But, hey, these still work. And that's going to be my dressing. You want to, okay, want to taste, all right, oh. <laughs> didn't chop it up, maybe I need to get a new one, yeah, I need to get a new one, want to send it to me, <laughs> so I'm going to try it, mmm, it's a nice vinaigrette, um, I don't want to put any more of the vinegar in there, so I may have to add a little bit of water, a little bit of water in there, just so I can, um, because I don't want it too, too sour. So let's pour, I said not to put it in, right? But I am. And that way, 
and then add a little bit more salt to that. Yeah. This one's going to be a little bit high in sodium. Just a little bit. I usually don't, I normally don't like to add too much sodium. Just like to. But it, it kind of binds the flavors, the sodium does. Okay. And then you have it. Try it one more time. Mm. That's a nice little palate cleanser. So it's yummy. Hope she likes it. Um, so, and that's it. I'll call it a day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.